Okay, I'm going to look at some number patterns. Um, sometimes you have really easy patterns like this first one, and it's just an addition pattern. And I can see that from 8 to 12 is plus 4, and from 12 to 16 is plus 4, and from 16 to 20 is plus 4. So then plus 4 here would give me 24, and plus 4 more would give me 28. But sometimes it's not that easy. So I look at this one, from 3 to 9 is plus 6, and from 9 to 27 is plus 18. And let's see, from 27 to 81, let's see, that's 81 minus 27. I need to borrow 4, 54. And I'm not seeing the pattern in the addition. So what I can do is see if it's a multiplication pattern. So I look down here and I say, okay, what times 3 gives me 9? It's times 3. And what times 9 gives me 27 times 3? And I'm thinking this is going to be times 3 too, but let me just check. 27 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 81. Yes times 3. So then I just need to do 81 times 3, which is 3, 24, 2, 43. And then that times 3, 9, 12, 6, 7, 7, 29. Now this next one with these fractions looks horrendous. And I'm not sure what's happening there at all. Um, so I need to decide how to deal with um, with the fractions. Well, one thing you can do if you have a hard time, you know, trying to add fractions all the time, is you can think about it in terms of money, because we have a lot more experience in money. Okay, so if I think about this as six dollars, and then three-fourths of a dollar, three out of four of something, that's quarters. Three quarters would be seventy-five cents. So this would be six dollars and seventy-five cents. And then this one would be seven half of a dollar is fifty cents, and a fourth of a dollar, I think quarters again, is eight twenty-five. So now, as I look at this, this is going up by seventy-five cents, and then from six seventy-five to seven fifty is also going up by seventy-five cents. And then from 750 to 825 is also going up by 75 cents. So if I went up by 75 cents here, it would be nine dollars, and then 975. And I just need to translate these back into regular numbers. That would of course just be nine. And three quarters out of four quarters would be three fourths. So that's nine and three fourths. So sometimes you gotta look at some tricks to try to figure it out, but don't always think it's addition. It can be anything. It could be a multiplication problem. It could be a division problem. It could be a subtraction problem. And if those fractions are getting to you, um, try converting them to money. That works really well with halves and fourths, not so much with thirds, um, but see if that helps you